Welcome back to SDL TV Live. I'm Sarah Thompson. My first guest is a father, minister, songwriter, and singer. Welcome, Shadrick, to the show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So earlier when we introduced the show, National Recording Artist, you've got a new project that's coming out that's, uh, that's very exciting. Tell me about it. Yes, it's entitled Grace Instead. This is my third project. Very excited about it. I've been through different things in life, and just to be at this point, it uh, really means a lot to me. Okay, so your third album, what's different about this album? What's, what's unique about it? Uh, well, this project was done uh, by myself, released by myself. I was with a former company, and, uh, but now on my own. I uh, wrote all of the material. I've gone through losing my mother, my father, also divorced, been sick. And so to come through those experiences and to be here with a smile on my face, <laughs> I understand it's because of God's grace. Mm -hmm. And so do most of the songs on the album reflect what you just described, what you've kind of yes, been through for the past yes, year? Yes, those different experiences. So how would you describe describe this album? To those interested in, in hearing it, how would you describe it? Is, it? is it more somber? Is it cathartic? Is it uplifting? Very cathartic, very uplifting, uh, helped me realize my relationship with God and how he brought me through those experiences and how seeing his grace and his favor in my life, it just opened my eyes and helped me understand the only way that I survived was because of God's favor, because of his grace and his mercy. So that's what Grace Instead is all about. It's a fun mm -hmm. project, great time. And so that's what it kind of deals with all of that. So in addition to being a recording artist, a singer, a songwriter, you are a pastor of a church, a reverend, and yes. of a church. Tell me about that. Yes, I uh, pastor Friendship Baptist Church at uh, 5597 Edsel Avenue. Been there actually for seven years now. Thank God for those people and, and the ministry that we have and what we're trying to do. It's, it's been a great experience. So. And how do you balance the two between, you know, writing sermons and sort of taking care of a full, you know, a congregation and, <laughs> and then creatively, you know, being able to sit down and write music and record it? How do you, I mean, balance that not only in your time, but yeah. just even holistically how do you are, are you able to balance that well it's a, a great responsibility trying to lead people trying to walk in a certain way and give people what they need versus what they want all of the time and sometimes the music experience my writing I've been writing for a long time and so my writing sometimes is very uh, it's very healthy for me sometimes it's my way of letting certain things out or, or making sense of a lot of things that I'm going through and dealing with. And so I take those experiences and then I come back and I share them with God's people. May not be in the song form, but the lesson that I learned in writing the song helps me teach and share with the people. And we must say that music runs through your blood, literally. Let's talk about your family. <laughs> yes, yes. My father was the late Reverend Cleophas Robinson. My mother was Bertha Robinson. So I grew up in a musical household. My brothers and my sisters all sing. Uh, so that's where I got all of it from and wanted to be like everybody else. I'm the fifth child of six children. I have a younger sister, but watching my older brothers and my older sisters and my father with his traveling and different things, that's what inspired me and got me started and got me to where I am today. So what's the feedback from, uh, from your siblings? I guess that they might be your <laughs> harshest critics now, or? <laughs> uh, well, actually my, my family, they enjoy it and they're supporting it and they're behind me. My oldest brother, Cleophas Robinson Jr., I actually recorded with him. I wrote several songs that are on both of his projects that were released before. And so I, I couldn't use him on this project because I didn't want him to take it over or anything. <laughs> so, but I also have uh, two of my sisters are singing background with me on this particular project. So it's, it's just been fun been great to have them involved and, and of course the way we were brought up and the way that we are with each other we, we encourage each other we may give each other a hard time but we encourage each other and we keep going on right and supportive of each other well yeah. the album it's we've got the information for you right there it's available right now it's available on via cd you can purchase that cd head to shadrick's website there it is on your screen, shadrick.net. Uh, I think you also said that it was available on iTunes. Did yes, you say that? Did all you? of the digital download places, they can get the project there. Okay, all right, yeah. very cool. We've got more to talk about, some of his inspirations and what's up next for Shadrick. So don't go anywhere. anywhere. We'll have more right after this. <laughs> 